What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. We just finished up our live stream reaction from Monday Night Raw tonight and not gonna lie to you, this Monday Night Raw was really good, very entertaining. We had some very great segments throughout the show, promo segments throughout the show, had some good in-ring wrestling, great storylines progressing into WrestleMania and they ended it off in such a fantastic way. We're going to talk about some of the highlights tonight. I can't go into great detail in everything because you got to go check out some of the highlights from this show, man. This was, this felt like a WrestleMania go home show for sure. Chicago was lit. The crowd was electric throughout the entirety of the show. Some good segments. I'm here for it. Let, but we got to talk about the most noticeable stuff. The stuff that really stuck home today or tonight. And we're going to get right into it. Because, man, it's, this was fantastic. So they started off the show with Cody coming out there to cut a promo. Um, he, you know, basically let it be known how he feels and, you know, you know what Roman has said on the podcast with uh, Pat McAfee were on his show and stuff like that. And basically, he basically said, they're mad at me because I destroyed their wank fest um, <laughs> at this year's WrestleMania because I won the Royal Rumble. Some of the stuff that I, you know, I really wish he would have told them in person when he'd seen them these few weeks, but that was a nice little jab. He destroyed their wank fest because he won the Royal Rumble and he messed up everything for them. Cool. Then The Rock pops up. The Rock was only advertised to show up on next week's Monday Night Raw, the Go Home Show in Brooklyn. But he showed up. Crowd goes crazy. It's a huge pop. He gets in there, crowd chanting, holy shit, because no one was expecting it, right? Rock comes out there, they're having a little standoff, and Rock puts his hands behind his back, he steps up to Cody, and he whispers something in his ear, and then he walks away. Cody's looking confused, dejected, and shout out to everyone that was able to catch it, that watched it back on social media over and over and over. We didn't know what he said at the time, but essentially what The Rock said, he's basically said, I'm going to make you bleed tonight. And Cody looked confused and dejected and, you know, just his reaction. So we didn't know. So <clears throat> they come back from commercial break. One of the um, interviewers in the back asked what The Rock said, uh, what The Rock had said to Cody. And The Rock said, you go ask Cody what I said. So in another segment in the show, they asked Cody, you know, what did The Rock say to you? And basically Cody said, I'm not going to say what he said. But just know it's not going to happen like you think it will. So it kind of confirmed that that's what The Rock was saying, that um, he was uh, going to make Cody bleed tonight. So, But that's not even just where things really pick up and pick up towards the end of the show. But we got to talk about the CM Punk, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre segment, Chef's Kiss. That shit was so good. So damn good good we all knew cm punk was going to be there tonight drew mcintyre out here trolling on social media trolling cm punk once again doing some of his best work best heel work love it cm punk comes out there huge chant huge pop and i love cm punk because cm punk gets straight to the business he's not here to bullshit he's going to tell you how this feel how he feels so he comes back and he lets it be known he 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 talked about how Roman Reigns has some choice words for him on Pat McAfee's show. He sent shots at Roman Reigns. He let him know. He's like, whenever you're coming down on your mountain and I'm coming up that same mountain, we'll cross paths. I'm like, I love that. Planting seeds for the future. Love that. Then he even mentioned The Rock. He's like, yeah, The Rock hasn't really said my name. You want to know why he hasn't said my name? Because 10 years ago, I told him his arms are not long enough to punch with God, to punch at God. Like, I like that the that that tie back to that infamous promo they had where he said, your, long, your arms ain't long enough to, to punch with God. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't hang with me. So I like how he, he mentioned The Rock. He said, The Rock hasn't mentioned me because he knows that this is not the smoke he wants. I like, he mentioned him. Then he mentioned... Seth, 
and he you know he said there's no love lost there you know he you know he has his platform heels and all this other stuff wearing his wife's clothes <laughs> whatever essentially a joke but he's not really concerned with him you know like I, there's no love lost there that's cool whatever it is what it is and then he got to drew and he got to drew and that's when business picked up because drew has been saying his name a lot on social media then drew music hit drew music hit oh actually before drew music is he basically saying you know he's a social media warrior you know he, he likes to type and say things but i like to fight so i may have one arm but if you got something to say drew in chicago we handle it in the street so what you gonna do drew comes out there and you know this is why i love cm punk because once again he doesn't give a f he's like yo cut his music cut his trash music we don't want to hear this cut his music before drew could even say anything he said hey enough of that talking get your bitch ass in this ring right now chef's kiss love that just straight to the point get your bitch ass in this ring right now what's up what we talking about love that love that so much drew's walking up the ramp talking his trash and cm punk's like cutting them off i don't care get your ass in the ring let's go <laughs> then drew goes all the way to the other side and then he was talking about the merch he has the new shirt he has and he said at the top you see where it says i injured cm punk as one of the checklists and <laughs> cm punk fired back he's like i never needed to put another man's name on a t-shirt to sell it i was like okay drew gets onto the table sits indian style like cm punk would about to cut a pipe from an announcement table and cm punk was like bro I'll, I'll lay on them i'll lay on the mat get in here bro i'm a one-armed man get in the ring what are you waiting for you just talking i love it seth rollin comes out there seth rollin comes out there he's like yo 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 what, what, what are we doing what y'all over here bickering and arguing about what, what's going on here like you know what i'm saying y'all y'all over here trying to make things happen without the champion himself being involved because they're going back and forth on either will cm punk be a, a commentator maybe a, a referee who knows so seth like yo i make the decisions about this championship match you know and he and he tells him he tells uh cm punk like look bro at the end of the day i haven't been worried about you you you've been an afterthought since the last time we interacted in the ring i ain't worried about you you know if anything if you do commentary at the uh at, uh at wrestlemania this year it'll be a cool moment for you to commentate on my greatness and my victory from your voice that'll be the closest you'll ever get to this championship talking is trash too no love lost between all three of these guys love it crowd was eating this up and he even asked the crowd should he be on commentary seth rollins and the crowd was chanting referee and they had to bleep out CM Punk. He's like, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I don't know if I can be impartial to two of these, to both of these dipshits. I was like, yes, this is what I love from CM Punk. So finally, they're going having their back and forth. CM Punk, well, not back and forth, but mostly Seth just letting it be known why, you know, at the end of the day, he's not worried about either of them because he knows how this story is going to end for him being the retaining his championship and i love what cm punk said at the end he this was so cold he was like look if i'm on commentary whatever the case may be that's fine but at the end of the day i'm gonna be doing something that y'all haven't been able to do since i've been gone <laughs> i'm gonna be able to make people care about y'all i'm gonna be able to get y'all over so doesn't really matter what i do at the end of the day, me doing anything involving in this match is going to help y'all in the long run. <laughs> and he walks away. Music plays. Drew McIntyre's over like, cut his music. Cut his music. And he starts talking. And they, the way they framed it up, he's focusing on CM Punk. CM Punk's damn near just walking up the ramp. He's just letting them talk his trash, whatever. And then Seth Rollins kicks him right in the face. Kicks him right in the face. And then hits... Drew McIntyre with the curb stomp, and that's how the segment ends. Seth walks up the ramp right past CM Punk. This was great.
Chef's Kiss. Fucking loved it. So him being involved in the match in some capacity is going to be very interesting. Seth made it very clear. Do not get in my way in their interaction. So there's going to be this. Uh, I don't know which way they take this. Because now that CM Punk most likely either going to be on commentary, he's going to get involved in that match. He may not be the referee, but the ref is going to get knocked down. He's going to get involved. And however he gets involved, it's probably going to be a reason why one or the other person wins. So definitely added some layers. Fantastic segment. This is the Seth I like to see. When Seth channeled his, his, his passion, he wasn't out there joking around. When he was going back and forth with CM Punk, that's what I want to see more of. Drew has been killing it. He's been killing it. He's been holding his own as well. So this was a fantastic segment. We cut to the back. You see, uh, I think, the New Day and DIY talking to each other. And then you see in the background, you see Paul Heyman talking with uh, Drew McIntyre. So I knew something's going to possibly happen. They're, he's he, They're having a conversation. So... Before the main event, which was uh, Jay Uso versus uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, he's doing his little promo, and all of a sudden you see Solo, and all of a sudden you see Jimmy, and Jimmy says, no, ye. I was like, oh, it's going to be some shenanigans. Before Jay even gets out there to the ring, Seth said, I, don't, I have a bad feeling about this. Me and Cody, we got your back out there. You go get the win. So it let me believe, obviously, there's going to be some shenanigans. And as we thought, there were some shenanigans before the match even ended. You had Jimmy and Solo come through the crowd, but that's when Seth and and um, Cody Rhodes um, came in to run interference. Cody and Jimmy started fighting up the ramp into the back, and then Seth was trying to handle Solo, but that's when Drew McIntyre comes out from nowhere, tacks him from behind, and hits um, Seth Rollins with the future shock DDT onto the floor, taking out Seth Rollins. That was his his part into what was going on with the bloodline. Thought that was good. So, I'm thinking Jay's about to lose after this all this chaos, but Jay ends up winning. Jay ends up defeating Shinsuke. They cut to the back and you see uh Jimmy and uh and Cody. Cody giving the beats, giving them the beats. Solo comes out there into the back. He starts giving Solo the beats and then the Rock comes out there. And they had like damn near five, six minutes left on the show. And The Rock proceeds to beat the living crap out of Cody. He's talking shit. He's throwing trash cans at his head. He beats him all the way outside. It's raining. It's cold. Got this dude, Cody, crawling on the ground, the wet ground. He ripped up his T-shirt. And then he starts beating up Cody right in front of his own tour bus. Just packing him up. Packing him up. And then he's talking his trash after he even threw him into the bus multiple times. They cut away. And then they cut back. And you see Cody's busted open with the fake blood. Obviously, it didn't, didn't look real. It didn't look like an actual blade job. But he's busted open, right? Blood everywhere, right? And now he's starting to really get into it. Now the rock is getting sick because then all of a sudden he starts mentioning Mama Rhodes. And then he pulls out a custom weight belt that says Mama Rhodes on it, Cody's mom on the white belt. And he wipes the blood and puts it all on the white belt. Like, this is what I'm going to be giving to you. This is what's happening to your son right now. He caused all of this and was just beating them up in front of his bus. This was fantastic. And the last shot is Cody Rhodes laying face down, bloodied up, shirt ripped up in the rain. Fantastic. Fantastic. And that's how Monday Night Raw goes off the air. I said this and I'm going to make this very clear. The Rock and Roman's going to be there next week. Cody, that's it. We're going to get our brawl next week. <laughs> We're going to get our brawl next week. 
this was a really good Monday Night Raw on the road to WrestleMania, bro. We are going to get our brawl next week, man. Because if I'm Cody, there's nothing to talk about. Don't come in there with your suits on. Because you know Roman and The Rock, they're going to have security there. You know they're going to play back that image of what happened. They're going to be talking their trash. Cody, Jay, Seth, you need to go in there, come through the crowd. They start brawling. And it gets to the point where Cody gets in that ring and you see The Rock and they start fighting back. They need to have a surprise attack. It's nothing to talk about now. It's war. It's all out war. The go home show of Raw should be nothing but a brawl. It should be chaos. And Cody needs to be leading it. He needs to go out there with a steel chair and start cracking people over with it, bro. I'm I'm ready for next week, Raw. I'm excited. Because we're gonna get we're gonna get that brawl. And Cody gonna have to put in some work. No more talking. Straight fighting. They done busted you open. Dis disrespected your mom. Disrespected your family. It's up now. Come through the crowd. Have your music. Have everybody looking at the front and you crack somebody over with a steel chair and you start going in simple as that hey this raw was great i don't i don't even know what to say this was a fantastic monday night raw one of the better raws this year so far i'm not gonna hold you and this is not even the go home show this is great can't wait for the next week Ready for WrestleMania. This got me hyped. This is probably some of the most hyped I've been. This was fantastic. They gave us a little bit of color. They added a little more dangerous dangerous threat to the story. I loved it. Fantastic. Comment down below. Let me know. What you guys rate this Monday Night Raw, man? I gave it a 10 out of 10. This was fantastic. Also, let me know what was your favorite part from the show. Favorite segment. Favorite promo. Whatever. Favorite match. Let me know what you enjoyed about this episode of monday night raw so much so and also let me know what type of time cody needs to be on next week what what type of violence cody needs to be inflicting let next week put that down in the comments let me know down below what type of violence this man cody needs to be inflicting y'all let me know i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still speed the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace